Hi, Brandon. Hey, Kat. Welcome to my cafe. <laughs> yes. Um, so you are our commercial um, sales manager. That's and um, so I'm in the market to buy a commercial machine, but I'm really not sure how much machine I need and or can afford. Common question. Okay. All right. Number one thing I deal with. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, biggest question, everyone, you know, hey, I want to do this. No one thinks about where to start. So okay. right, we're going to drink do how many drinks per day per hour at your max peak okay um everyone always comes at it from a budget standpoint i have three thousand dollars to spend that doesn't really help three thousand dollars works great if you have a small amount of drinks but if you come and say i have three thousand dollars to spend but i want to do 300 drinks an hour it doesn't quite equate out okay uh, so what we're gonna do is talk about numbers today okay <laughs> that's lost half the viewers right there <laughs> um well we kind of charted it out for those more visually inclined here so so to, why don't you ex explain to me what you have going on here Perfect. so we are going to talk today about just a basic drink 16 ounce latte no flavoring or anything like that so just milk and espresso very simple okay um 16 ounce latte Two ounces of espresso basically is going to go into that. Uh, the rest of the cup, 14 ounces, is going to be filled with steamed milk. Okay. Um, when we say the word steamed, you got to remember cold milk. The goal of expanding of, of steaming that milk is expanding, doubling the size. Mm -hmm. So 14 ounces of steamed milk is going to be seven ounces worth of cold milk. Okay. Um, so when we're doing our cost basis here, we're looking at cold milk. Seven ounces is what's going into that frothing pitcher. Okay. Um, past there, we're going to look at a pound of coffee, roughly $8 a pound wholesale. That's going to range whether you're in New York or the middle of somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, but you're, what you're going to do is get 32 double shots out of a pound of coffee. A double shot of espresso is 14 grams worth of coffee. That's two ounces. Based on that number there, eight pounds, you're looking at 25 cents a drink in that double shot. So it's 25 cents for 14 grams of coffee. Of, of coffee. So yeah. raw goods. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're at home doing the math, if you're paying nine dollars a pound, just up that a little. Yeah. Uh, we went a little high in the milk, four dollars a gallon. Um, I'm sure it's that in some places and mm -hmm. other places it's less. Uh, but when you're looking at a gallon of milk is going to get you 18 drinks when again, seven ounces of cold milk. That's what we have to use our cost basis. For. Okay. Uh, based on four dollars four dollars a gallon, we're looking at twenty two cents. That's going to go inside of there. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you got to have a cup and lid. If you have porcelain, this you know just el eliminate this. But cup and lid is going to cost you about roughly twenty cents per drink. Okay. Um, it's going to bring our raw goods down to sixty seven cents inside that cup. So we're looking at a sixteen ounce latte, just espresso and milk. Sixty seven cents is what you've got in the cup. Okay. As a cafe owner. And that's not, obviously if you're doing flavorings and all that kind of stuff, that's going to add to that that basic raw goods. But this is just a straight up. Yeah, and we'll double get into 16 ounce flavors latte. later. It does add to the raw goods, but keep in mind it takes up volume. So if you put in two ounces worth of moaning syrup or trying yeah. syrup, it also takes up volume. So we cut the rest of the milk down. Got it. A little okay. bit of difference. Um, retail. I know this is actually really low, especially in this area. Yeah. Three dollars for a 16 ounce latte. You're probably not going to get a 12 ounce latte here for three dollars. <laughs> but it's a good, I think, national average. Yep. Very good national average. And what that's going to come into is two dollars and thirty cents gross profit per cup. Okay. Um, we speak in the words gross profit because net profit's a little hard to, to determine. Um, we're, when you talk net profit, you could be a bakery that's already profitable, already successful, mm -hmm. that's looking at maybe bringing on some additional revenue stream. Okay. Then everything you do, every drink you sell is net profit. If you're a startup, um, you know, you haven't, you don't have anything coming in yet. It's a lot harder to look at net profit because it may be month six, seven, or eight before you're actually turning a net profit. And we don't really know what your overhead is, like what your rent is, your staffing, that kind of stuff. So exactly. we can't really figure that out for you. Yep, but, exactly. but you could do that yourself, you know, if you kind of understand, you know, what, what each component of that would be for each drink, you, well, you, get, you, you could kind of go crazy on it. <laughs> um, okay. So now two hundred two dollars and 33 cents. Um, a, a gross profit. Mm -hmm. So the next question what we're going to try to relate this to is how long does it take to pay off a machine? Okay. Because now we're getting back to, again, where we need to start, not on the dollar amount, but the big thing in commercial is how many drinks are we going to produce? Mm -hmm. um, so now what we're going to take a look at here is $2.33. It's 430 drinks you got to serve to make a thousand dollar gross profit. Okay. When you put it this way, it's really, it's not as scary as it sounds. You say a thousand dollars. If you had a thousand dollars that you were financing or paying off or whatever, mm -hmm. if you were serving, we're going to just do 30 drinks a day. Very tiny. Okay. I mean, honestly, very, very small bakeries, bookstores can serve more than 30 drinks a day. Mm -hmm. What you're looking at is a thousand dollars would take you 14 days in gross profits to pay this off. Okay. Um, so now again, take that case scenario where we're adding it on. You're already profitable as a company. So this is pure profit. Mm -hmm. It's 14 days for a thousand dollars machine. 
We kicked that up to a $5,000 machine, which a lot of people get scared of. It's a big number. Yeah. We're talking 70 days. We're talking just over two months. Okay. And it's paid off. And keep in mind, these machines, they're going to last you. You take care of them. They're going to last you five, seven, eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and you're talking about you're paying off that investment in 70 days. Okay. Um, and we just, just to go crazy with it, to look up, because this is what <laughs> we have, $10,000 machine, which a lot of people say, oh, it's too big of a machine for me. Mm -hmm. But even at 30 drinks a day, and at all these low, honestly, low numbers, mm -hmm. um, you're only looking at 140 days. So we're not even really at the half year mark mm -hmm. to physically pay off a $10,000 machine, which mm -hmm. is going to get you a top of the line machine. It's going to get you that Aurelia, that class nine, yeah. um, you know, something in the La Marzocca range as well. And really to go crazy, $20,000 <laughs> machine where uh, only in Seattle do you see these $20,000 <laughs> machines. What are you, nuts? <laughs> Um, but even something like that, you're not even at a year yet. You're at 280 days yeah. to actually pay off a $20,000 machine. So obviously if you're saying, Hey, I know my business, I'm, you know, I need to buy a new machine. I'm already clocking a hundred drinks a day. That's going to bring all these down considerably dramatic. like mu much more uh, quickly to pay it off. Yep. Right. It's, it's dramatic. And I mean, it's <laughs> hard again. We, when, when I talk to people, the first thing people think of this machine is a cost and it's not a cost. It's an investment. Mm -hmm. um, you are using this to run your business business you're using this to make money mm -hmm. um, you have to look at it as an investment not a cost because as soon as you look at it as a cost as it's it's something that you're sinking money into that you're just losing value yeah it, it, then you talk yourself into buying a machine that's not right for the volume um, and that is the number one most dangerous thing you can do as a cafe owner buy a machine that if you're gonna serve 100 drinks a day you buy a machine only capable of 50 drinks a day mm -hmm. um, it's you're not just gonna get 50 good ones 50 bad ones you're gonna get 100 bad ones yeah all right, cool. Thank you so much, Brandon. Not a problem. Thanks, Kat.